Welcome back to Tool Time. We all know Skype, the free internet phone program. Well, recently they developed an application for the iPod Touch that lets you make and receive phone calls on it, Skype to Skype, of course, for free, as long as you have a working internet connection. The only problem is, is that you need a fancy microphone headphone for it, and knowing Apple's prices, that can be a bit expensive. Well, on today's show, I'm going to show you how you can make a custom cable that allows you to plug in your own headphone and microphone into the iTouch so that you sacrifice neither quality by buying a cheap headphone and microphone thingy or lose too much money by buying an official Apple certified one. I totaled up the cost for all of the parts and it was about half of what they charge for one online. So it's definitely worth making in this case. You're going to need a stereo headphone splitter, or splitters in my case because I use two different color ones so I could tell the headphone and microphone ports apart, and a four pole headphone connector. If you don't know where to get one, you can just go buy a cheap headphone microphone off eBay because all you really need is the connector and not the actual headphone and microphone units. You're also going to need some painter's tape to keep the wires from shorting each other out, a multimeter to test our connections to make sure that they're working properly, and optionally, some heat shrink tubing to make it all look nice and stay together in the end. First, you cut the headphone splitter or splitters at the base. Then we strip the wires. Now take your four pole headphone connector and do the same. Next, we need to take a match or a butane lighter and light up the ends of the wires. Now, it might sound funny because metal doesn't burn, but headphone wires are connected with a special color coded coating thing that keeps them from shorting each other out and the best way to get this off is to burn it off. Make sure you make a note of all the colors first. Now we need to put on our heat shrink tubing before we forget because it'd be a pity to assemble the whole thing and then have to disassemble it and then put the heat shrink tubing on and then assemble it again. So be sure to put on your heat shrink tubing first. Next, we need to twist or solder each individual wire together according to the pinout from online at this site here and the notes that you took. I found it best to test each connection, the resistance of course, with a multimeter before you seal it all up. That way you know you are getting the ultimate in sound quality. Finally, put a bit of tape over each connection so that you know it doesn't short out with the other connections. Then you can go ahead and shrink your heat shrink tubing. Now that you're all done, be sure to test it out in a song that you know very well and make sure that the left signal plays in the left ear and the right signal plays in the right ear and the microphone works and all that. If you filled out and followed your sheets correctly, you now have your very own $4 iTouch microphone connector. I'm Josh, and I'll see you next time with another exciting episode of Tool Time.